Come on in. Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited for today's video. Uh, my number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Uh, if this is a vehicle that you may be interested in, I would love to help you. Please take my contact information down and do note that these are live Facebook videos. So you're welcome to reach out to me either during our Facebook presentation. Uh, you can also uh, leave messages down below at our YouTube station and you'll find us five days a week with three videos each day. One truck, one trailer, one RV at TTTRV. And you'll find me at my YouTube station at in, RVs Inside Out. So again, that's RVs Inside Out, hashtag RVs Inside Out at YouTube, and you can find all of my videos. Um, and as that alludes to, I love to start my videos from the inside out. So Jody, go ahead and take her on back. Uh, today is a really special treat. Uh, this is a unit that we'll get one or two of in a year, um, and just not a very, uh, it's certainly very popular, but not a very common RV. Certainly there's a waiting list. Uh, this was special ordered back in September, uh, and this is a 2022 Renegade Explorer 40 ERB. So the Explorer is an interesting model um, in that it's a lot like that of the LE, but with more horsepower, more torque, um, So and also it's built on a Cascadia chassis. So um, this has got a DD13 in it. It's a bath and a half unit with 1,850 foot-pounds of torque and it's a single axle. So that's a really unique feature to this product. Um, so we'll start here. Now this is a nice uh, example of some of the upgrades that you'll see. You'll see we've got this you know, nice band of tile, full tile uh, shower. Um, and this is going to be a 30 inch by 36 inch shower. So larger than a lot of that 35 inch radius shower you'll find standard on most of the Renegades. Uh, so definitely a very nice upgrade. You'll also find that we have this fantastic wood stock exterior. Um, and this is, of course, you know, Numar and uh, Renegade are both manufactured in Indiana. And we have a fantastic workforce in the Amish that take great pride in their cabinetry. So this is a very nice um, maple, hardwood maple cabinetry in the, moon, uh, in the wood stock. Uh, this has got a moonstone interior, which we'll see in a second. Uh, but this is just a very, very beautiful uh, cabinet. And one of the things that's nice about this is it's one of the first that we've offered that has kind of a gray sheen to it as opposed to that spice brandy, which is typically a little more red. Um, now, of course, we have our Sandy Marin uh, toilets here. These are, of course, macerated toilets. There is an, uh, a SantaCon system available with this, with a dual macerator. This is just the single macerator system, but very nice solid porcelain toilets. Washer and dryer stack both. As you can see, great access, very easy to reach. Um, so this is a bath and a half model. Really, really nice layout. Um, one of the things I really like about the Renegade product is the simplicity of their cabinetry and how big they make everything. So really great space here for any kind of linens or towels again really nice large drawers all soft clothes again this cabinetry is so important and i'll show you when we get up front the dovetail construction just really important to understand that the amish community takes such great pride in the craftsmanship of their products so an rv like this that has you know, an 8,000 kilo, I'm sorry, 8,000 watt uh, generator, two lithium ion battery packs, 150 gallons of fresh water, 75 gallons of gray, 75 gallons of uh, black water, you know, ducted air conditioning, uh, and a really nice bath and a half 40 foot coach is so fantastic just in terms of layout. But what's really, really different about this product is going to be the craftsmanship that goes into it and how well constructed uh, these products are. So. I also want to show you in this cabinet here, um, there's so much uh, storage in this unit. So really nice that you have a hanging wardrobe here and then also more shelves down below. So just a great amount of space in this RV. So I'll go ahead and before I uh, go into the room, I'm going to close this door just so you can see. Now I do have um, the air conditioning running today. So as you can see, 
just really nice detail to these doors. Very, very solid. Uh, it keep all the noise out. Um, but this is a nice example of uh, how you can be so comfortable in a very durable coach of your track side. So if you're pulling a stacker, um, this is a 20,000 pound towing capacity with 1,850 foot pounds of torque. So it's gonna make it really easy work. Um, the 4,000 uh, Allison transmission is really good for, whole, for towing heavy loads. Um, and one of the things that's nice about this coach is it's not weighted down by that second axle. So in a lot of these Super C's, when you get into that uh, higher engine power, for instance, in the Supreme Air, you'll have a twin screw axle and you'll lose a lot of base storage. So this is very nice in that it's a single axle, very unique in the marketplace. Uh, here's some more of that cabinet uh, space we have for your hanging wardrobe. And then look at all of these drawers. So, so much storage here. What I really like about this uh, Renegade layout is the fact that these doors are actually a little bit smaller. Um, so they're, uh, from a use standpoint, um, this is a little more shallow so you could stack your jeans. These are, you know, you could keep your t-shirts as opposed to having these huge, big, deep drawers where you have to kind of rifle through things to get access to everything. So here we have another wardrobe. And of course, if you have anything long, um, you don't need to use the second bar. You could actually use uh, this wardrobe closet, remove the second bar and have a place to keep all of your ball gowns. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, snowboarding, um, not snowboarding, but snowmobiling bibs, uh, any kind of that motocross stuff that you might be doing right there. Um, and then on this side, on the left-hand side, or the, the driver's side, if you will, uh, you've got this fantastic, just really decadent looking, um, big, nice 66 Mini King, uh, 66 by 72 Mini King bed. And I just love to see like how these hinges hold up. Uh, one of the things that is really unique to Renegade is um, how much storage you have in these because when you get in here, this is all open back here. So lots of room if you wanted to put any, any kind of containers, you can label everything with your label maker. Uh, you do have control here for your lights, your air conditioning. Um, and then of course we've got windows on either side with cross ventilation. And then um, another really nice thing is the way that we do our nightstands is we have these nice nightstand tables with USB ports and plugs. Super simple, really easy. Um, another feature you'll find in the LE model, so the Renegade Verona LE or in the Renegade Explorer, both of those models have a ceiling fan in the bedroom. Uh, this is a great feature, and as I mentioned earlier, this is ducted air conditioning. It has drip lines that go down under the coach, so it's a really nice advanced system. Uh, but having that extra ventilation uh, or circulation, if you will, of air in the, in the bedroom is very, very nice. And then again, I'm just gonna show you um, this fantastic, high quality, just really nice, solid separation of the master bedroom into uh, the main suite. So as you come on through, Jody, come on in. I wanna go into the mid bath, um, but I wanna kinda talk about some of the features I really like about Renegade. Um, I own, I, I had a Renegade Verona a 40 VB, or I'm sorry, 36 v, VSB for a while. Now I have a superstar. One of the things I really miss a lot about my um, Verona is this exactly. So I love this system here where I can go in, take a look at my fresh gray and black water tank. I can turn on my lights. I can start and stop my generator, do all my climate control. So you will see here I've got front, I've got floor heat in this unit. That is an optional feature uh, in the ERB. So that's very unique to this product. Um, and then I can change, I can control my bay temperature. So if I'm going to be out boondocking and it's cold, I can make sure I'm keeping my heat down there. Um, and then I've got also my satellite control here. My slide control, as you can see, is really nice. My leveling can be controlled here as well. And then I have a mobile app. So I can actually go into the Mira system, download it here. It's also known as the Vega Touch Mira app. Um, but I can download that, identify the coach, and then put my PIN number in. And everything that I just showed you here on this screen is going to be then on your app. So you can open and control, open and close your slides from outside. And where that's nice is if you're going somewhere and you arrive late at night and maybe there's a tree in the way or you're looking at putting out you know, one of your dual awnings, you can go ahead and actually see where you are and then control those features with your phone from outside of the vehicle as opposed to having to have a spotter. 
And of course, if you're traveling with little kids or maybe your wife is sleeping, whatever it might be when you arrive, it's just nice to be able to do that on your own without having to hit a tree. I mean, let's just cut, it, cut to the chase. That's, that's the big savings there. Um, so again, just fantastic craftsmanship in, these, in this mid bath. Um, lots and lots of storage. Uh, one of the things I like in my Numars, this is carpet line, but you know, you can buy that vegetable liner that's kind of beaded in foam and cut it into place so you can avoid those rattles. I love uh, the sconces and the vanity lights that they have throughout the coach. They've done a really nice job uh, with all of their high-end finishes. This, of course, is a great compartment to keep, you know, the pellets that you use for your water tank. You can keep all of your sunscreen up here, bug spray, toilet paper. Um, it is still necessary to use RV toilet paper even with the macerator system, so I get that question every once in a while. And then more storage once again, and then this will probably be a great opportunity to show you that dovetail construction. So once again, in Indiana, um, I've noticed that the quality of the RVs coming out of that area are so high, but I think that, you know, it's important to understand if you go into these little communities like Napanee or Elkhart, everyone's family has worked at these manufacturers. This is a staple of their lives. And honestly, the amount of pride that they take in the construction of these products and how many ma magnificent RVs going down the road you see, I totally identify with it. So just in driving through on my way to, you know, see Renegade, to, to see, you know, a Numar, uh, it was so fun to drive through and go, oh my gosh, look, there's another one. We, and so people feel this like sense of attachment to the product that they're creating for you. And you know, they're really excited about what they're doing for your family. So I think it's important to understand that it's translated everywhere throughout this coach. Now, of course we do have uh, in both of the restrooms, we've got these rain sensing uh, mass, you know, uh, fans up top to let, you know, the, to keep everything ventilated nice and fresh. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and close this door. And I'd like you to take note of the fact that this is a, a quad slide. So you've got a slide here and here, which is giving you a much bigger bedroom than we have in most of our Renegade products. At the Verona, you're gonna have a two slide. The LE, you're gonna have a three slide. And at the Explorer, you've got a quad slide. But what that means is that this is the amount of room that you have to access the bathroom. So on our way out, I promise I won't forget. Last week, I forgot to show everybody the Essex with the slides pulled in. Uh, there's so much to cover, but I will show you the walking space throughout this coach. Uh, now, I am just in love with the coat cubby. I just think that's so adorable. What a fantastic idea. And then look at all this nice storage. Oh, sorry, this is the um, your power storage. This is actually, um, when I was walking through this coach the first time, I was really excited to find that they had moved the fuse panels and all of their, um, all of their controls here to the step, the step well. Typically they're in the kitchen for Renegade. So this is actually a great location for them. Um, and then above here, once again, just more storage. Great, great location though. Keeping dog dishes, maybe your uh, leashes if you want, an umbrella, any of those things, your binoculars, you know, whatever you might have that you need. Um, now here in this galley area of uh, this RV, you'll find so this color of this, of this couch is called moon. This is moon interior. Um, and I think it's just really a light, beautiful interior. Um, I love the, the color of this floor. Um, this is called Pegasus White. It's a matte uh, tile. What's nice about it is it's got enough of an undertone to it where you're not gonna see spots or dirt as much. It's got some forgiveness to it, but it still gives you this really beautiful light and airy um, amount of, uh, or I guess light and airy, uh, environment when you're in here. So this is the t traditional renegade storage motif. I cannot speak highly enough of this. Um, as somebody who loves a nice, uh, container and a great label maker, I would highly recommend starting from a and going all the way down to Z. You can fit so many containers in these cubbies. I want to measure the depth here for you. So if you are in the market for an Explorer, I would love to help you with that. These are 17 inches deep. And then I just want to get across here because you really do have all of the storage because you can put the cubby in or you can put the container in and then slide them around. So you can really use all 74 inches 
of that space. I mean, and that's twice, so 74 times two. And like I said, so we have one that has batteries. We have one that has kitchen supplies for outside. We have one that has all of our flashlight, fire starting kits. And they're just all labeled, but you know what's nice is if you put them in alphabetical order, you don't have to try to group them um, by the commonality of what they are. You can actually just put them into their individual bins and you know if you need batteries, you're gonna go towards the front. And you know that if you wanna get toothpicks, they're gonna be towards the back. I don't know why I came up with toothpicks. It just started with a T, it was towards the back. This is a live video. So don't make fun of me, or please do. If you'd like to like, subscribe, or chime in. Like I said, all the information is down below. You're more than welcome. I love feedback. Um, if I'm doing something that annoys you, I apologize in advance, but give me that feedback. Let me know. And if you like what you see or something's really helpful to you, um, I get a ton of feedback uh, in return regarding the uh, measurements that we do because a lot of people are trying to figure out what they can put in drawers. Um, so now if you don't have the optional fireplace, you get this fantastic amount of storage space here. For me, I would absolutely opt for the storage over the fireplace. Personally, if I'm going to be sitting by a fire, I am going to be sitting outside. And we do use an Outlander fire pit, which I think is a really great uh, invention. I'm going to make this look easy without... Um, I put a TV through a wall slide a few weeks back, so I'm trying not to do that again. Um, <laughs> Andrew, if you're watching, yeah, that did happen. Look at all this storage space back here, though. And then down below, you'll find your Blu-ray player. So we had a 32 inch TV in the bedroom. We have a 43 outside on the exterior wall. And then this television here is 50 inches. Um, this sound bar is really a fantastic um, addition to any new RV. It's really nice to be able to uh, sync your phone to this. It also really enhances the amount of surround sound you get when you're watching a movie. Uh, we went uh, to Estes Park to kind of do our uploading for all of our new, you know, we of course bought pillows and blankets and all that stuff. And it was pouring down rain the entire time and there was like 80 mile an hour winds. So we just turned on our, you know, television, put it on, a, I think we used Apple TV, you can use Hulu, you can use Netflix, whatever's most convenient for you. But found a great movie, snuggled up, watched a bunch of television, got the RV unpacked, drank some Prosecco. It was just a great weekend, even though we were stuck inside. That's just the nicest thing about having a fantastic RV like this. Look at the size of the storage under here. It is so immense. There's your subwoofer. Uh, there's a nice sound system in here. Um, so that's really important to know that like you could definitely watch like that new Top Gun movie uh, here and get all of the benefits. And then I love how these full extension drawers come all the way out. I wanna get my tape measure out and measure that drawer. Here it is. Um, this is so much storage space. So if you were going to go to the container store to get separators so that you could, uh, you know, maybe organize and separate things here, just over 15 inches in terms of interior diameter. And then this drawer is 22 and a half, almost 23 inches deep. So that's a lot of space. And then in terms of height, you'd want to get a, a container that's just under six inches, so about five and a half inches tall. Um, these are important measurements. If you haven't written all the measurements of your drawers down when you go to the container store, sometimes you come back and they'll be a little bit too uh, tall. Uh, this drawer is, of course, the same height or same width and depth, but this is only uh, just over four inches, so I would go with a four inch container if you wanted to do something in this drawer. Of course, how you can fit all of your silverware, all of your spatulas, all of those things right there. And then this is where we would normally find our fuses, but as you can see, because I've taken them out of the kitchen in this coach, you have all of this additional room here. This is a great place to keep a rice cooker, an air fryer, your coffee pot, any of those things uh, that you're looking for for bigger items. This is a great coach if you're looking for uh, something that has a larger capacity, extra storage. And then I love this pantry. So this is very much um, the difference between Numar and Renegade are these types of latches. Just very simple, still very high quality build, just not an opulent or seamless look, a very apparent, hey, this is open, this is an open look. So, you know, you get into the Essex, they have like a bar that comes over automatically when you put the car into, or you put the coach into to drive. Why do they do that? Well, because you might have forgotten to do it and all might come flying out, but here Renegade makes it very simple to know whether or not you've got your refrigerator locked. So for instance, this is blue. 
which means I can open this 18 cubic foot refrigerator freezer combo without any issue, right? And also close it, pop up the lock. I can also open the top without any issue. Now you'll note this does not have like a meat and cheese drawer or anything, you know, uh, as fancy as we might have in some of the Samsung products we find in Newmar, but how completely, you know, easy is this, is this to use? It's got adjustable shelves, it's got a ton of space, you can change the height of all of your storage on the drawers, and then you can, once again, get those little containers where you can keep your strawberries and everything in the RV without having to have it fly all over the place because you've got separate containers and you just kind of spread them out uh, evenly. So I love the difference between uh, the two. I have a huge amount of respect for both. Um, I love also that when you're in this Explorer, look at how much room you have up here. And you've got your 110 uh, plugs. I've done a bad job at showing you outlets. I'll make sure we kind of walk back through and see all of those. Uh, so you've got your equalizer leveling system here that does have an app on it as well. Um, and then, again, just more storage up here. And all of your wiring, as you can see, is bundled so neatly and adjusted so nicely together. Now, before we get to the cockpit of this coach, we're going to continue going through here. But one of the main differences in this um, Super C over all of the other Super C's in the marketplace, um, and I won't say all of them, but one of the differentiating factors between this and other uh, RVs in the Renegade lineup is going to be this Cascadia chassis. Um, and I'll show you where I think that that major effect makes a huge difference. So take a look at how deep the storage is. So just to give you an idea, if I was to pull this bad boy out, this is of course the pillow you would use to convert this into a bed, but this is so incredibly long. Look at how much storage is underneath here. So for those of you um, who are out there working on the road, this is a great place to keep, once again, bins that are labeled and you can keep all of your um, cords, for instance, all of your, uh, your phone accessories, phone jacks, all of your uh, work supplies, if you want to keep your laptop down there, all of your pens, all those things very conveniently located right underneath where you sit the most. Um, another thing I really like about getting into these higher line renegades are these cup holders. If you're working from the road and you have a Coke and you hit a turn a little too quick, it's going to stay in place. And you also have four USB ports, so two here and a 110, and then two there and a 110 as well. Um, it says insulated window, that's true. These are all insulated dual pane windows. But I like the fact that I, they pop out from the bottom, so that will give me the ability to have them open even in foul weather. And then I have, of course, my day shades and my night shades, and they're manual. Once again, one of the really nice things about Renegade versus Numar is that everything on this coach is just very, very simple to operate, simple to use. Um, and then there's so much space in the living room in these Renegade products. I'm really impressed with what they're able to do. Um, I love the fact that this couch actually has a window ledge behind it. So this is such a nice feature. I always put cute little things out. I love to decorate my RV. Um, so I love that you have a ledge out here where you could put like a little plant, you could put your, um, you know, you could put your coffee cup up here or whatever. And if you wanted to keep it here in the armrest, uh, you could also keep all your remotes here. So I just, I love the amount of storage that you have near uh, this couch because honestly, if you're sitting there having a cocktail and you want to put your drink up here, that's just so handy. And then you could have all three people watching this big 50 inch TV. Um, so let's go ahead and pull these cushions off. Again, this is the moon interior. Oh, and there's, I don't know, Jody, if you would like to show this, but there was a forward facing seat belt and then there's three more back here. And as you can see, those are bolted into the subfloor. But look at the nice size of this bed. So this is a full queen size bed. We just take regular queen seats, not like the mini king in the bedroom. But how nice is that? This is such a great amount of space. So uh, the booth is great for some littles. This is great for if you want to bring your, you know, adult sized children. My son is 
you know, just about six feet tall. He needs a little extra room. This would be a great bed for him. Um, just a really nice amount of sleeping space. And the cool thing is when it's tucked away, it's really so incognito. People might not know that you have this extra sleeping space. Um, if they do, they're probably going to want to go camping with you when they see uh, this RV, especially from the exterior. It just looks so tough. Um, and again, with 1,850 foot pounds of torque, oh my gosh, talk about a monster. I guess these are either side. That's kind of cool. They're reversible. Okay, so we've covered a lot of uh, the important parts. Oh, I didn't cover this, so sorry. Let's make sure we get true induction, dual burner stove. Um, one of the things that's really nice about these stoves, you can see that it's on. Um, I can change my temperature. It's gonna be mad at me because it wants me to have a pan in place. If I take the pan off, it turns off. So not only could I boil a pot of water with a paper towel on top of this underneath the pot, it also will not stay on if I remove the pot from the surface. So really great for people who have kids that, you know, want them to be able to make breakfast, but they want to have that kind of safety and assurance that it's not going to burn down the RV. 110 outlets here. Uh, your Samsung has this uh, system here where you do have the ventilation that comes up and through. And of course, this is a convection and microwave oven. And then this dual basin sink is super nice because it has both a prep side and then a regular basin with your stainless steel or brushed nickel uh, faucet very residential you've got a window right behind you and then nice storage up here on top uh, renegade does a really good job with their manuals they're always in a three ring binder everything that you need is very easy to find um, i super appreciate that um, but on that note something to you know just talk about briefly is if you buy your rv from uh, trans west um, i've got a couple here today they're actually picking up a superstar and they had bought a pre-owned uh, 40 bbh or sorry 40 VRB from us previously. So they traded it in and they're not from here. They register the coach in uh, North Dakota. If you can just take a look down into this parking lot, uh, you know, there's a number of RVs that are parked in here. Uh, the Verona is their trade in. The white one at the end, the Superstar is actually mine. Um, but what's so nice is when you come in for service, you can park here and we, you know, the gentleman who's got uh, walking around on the outside there, He's having service done. So they put a pink slipper on there. It says that he's staying in the coach. They keep it plugged in. He can have his refrigerator running. Um, but it's just really nice for clients. And the people that are trading in their coach today and upgrading a little bit, um, it was one of the deciding factors for them because they knew they could come here. They parked their RV here on Sunday. They got up. We did an eight o'clock appointment for delivery this morning. It's a three hour walk and orientation. And then we'll actually park their old RV next to their new RV side by side, and they can transfer everything over. Uh, and if they need to go into the shop, we have both uh, uh, house service here. So we have um, Emerald uh, Prevo house service as well as Winnebago, Renegade, and Newmar, all here in one location. And then across the street, we're an elite certified dealership. So we do Daimler, uh, that DD13 is of course the Detroit uh, engine, but the DD13 is a Daimler product. Uh, you also have your Freightliner service here. You also have, uh, you know, we service Cummins. We have our Spartan chassis service. So you have all of your chassis side on the other side of the street. So all of these things are in one location. And then on top of that, just a few miles away, we have what we call Branch One, which is like the mothership of all of the 38 Trans West stores. Um, and of course, we only have four RV locations, but we do have 38 locations in total. And at Branch One, they have a full service body shop, semi shop. Um, so if you have, you know, something where maybe, you know, a tree got ahead of you that you didn't see or something along those lines, you can come here and get, you know, your house service, your chassis service, but also any kind of body work done that you might need to have done. And that's just a really, really huge, huge advantage. Uh, not to mention the fact that if you are, you know, a person who wants to get a feel for and, and, and a look at different makes, we carry so many different manufacturers here. And I can't tell you how many people might come in with a really nice London Air trade-in and decide that they want to upgrade to a Prevo because they love camping. So, you know, the, the elevation and the selection are another great reason to shop here. Um, now, one of the things I'll mention is that you'll see that this is almost all tile floor. So there is some carpet. There's a little bit here underneath the refrigerator, but for the most part, 
Um, the Explorer offers an almost completely tile floor. And then they also offer one of the least amounts of step downs in the industry into the cab. So um, the Superstar has a pretty significant step that comes down after the threshold. Um, and then of course the Veronas have a pretty large lift that you have to lift your leg up and over. So this is one of the features I wanted to make sure we covered today. And then we're gonna talk about um, some other things I think are important. Now before I go down too far, let's make sure we talked about overall length is 40 feet, five inches long. Exterior width is 99 and a quarter. Wheelbase, uh, 285. Overall exterior height, 13 feet, two inches tall. So this is a tall RV. Um, that's about the same size as you'll find a Superstar. A lot of these Class A's are going to be about 13 feet tall. And then interior height, so where you've got this beautiful white cushioned ceiling with this great LED puck, uh, puck light inter integration, this uh, is 7 feet tall. So that's super tall on the inside. I know we talked about the freshwater, uh, gray water and black water being 150 gallons of fresh water, great for boondockers, 75 gallons of gray, 75 gallons of black water, huge, huge capacities for water, great for anyone who's trackside, maybe racing over the weekend, doesn't want to have to move after they get their, you know, camp set up. Um, but the fuel capacity on the Explorer is 120 gallons versus the typical 100 gallon fuel capacity. And the def tank goes from six up to 13. Um, now, you can refill DEF at pretty much most filling stations, but if you're not going to semi-truck filling stations, it's a little bit more further or far, further and far between. So having that extra DEF capacity allows you to be maybe a little less uh, organized in your planning. You could stop at any place that has diesel and fuel up as opposed to having to hit a truck stop. So that's kind of nice. Um, we talked about uh, two ACs. There are 15,000 BTU. Of course, there are ducted air conditioners, uh, which is nice. Condensation lines running down. Um, okay, 18 cubic foot refrigerator. We talked about the multiplex control system. Oh, so one thing we haven't covered yet. We have three, three 175 watt solar panels on top of this coach. That is also in combination with two 250 amp hour lithium ion batteries. And you can have an extra two as well. Uh, my client did not opt for the extra two in this particular coach. Uh, it really depends. Um, a coach's uh, first impulse is going to be to use the generator. So if you've got your generator running, for instance, like we do now, hopefully you can note how quiet it is, you can't even hear it. Uh, but if you've got your generator running, you can run your air conditioning and all your power off of your generator. So that would be the coach's first bias. Even if you were plugged into 50 amp, it would still use generator over 50 amp. Now, if you're plugged into 50 amp, of course, you don't need to worry about your battery capacity. Your battery capacity is really gonna be most important for you if you're track side. So if you're track side, you are going to want to have uh, more battery capacity. And in this case, 500 amp hours is quite a bit. Uh, our Verona only had 300 amp hours of battery. But with this lithium ion battery packs, one of the things that's nice about them is they're going to uh, charge faster. And then if you take care of them, uh, they won't get, they don't have a propensity to freeze if they get too cold or to overheat. So they're a little more stable from that standpoint and they're also going to last longer. So if you take good care of them, they can last a really long time. Now, of course, they're more expensive to replace than a typical uh, AGM battery would be, but you'll get that longevity out of them as well. And like I said, you can have up to four on this coach. Um, oh, we have a question. Oh, okay, so for the MSRP, you can reach out to me. My name is Katie O'Neill. Um, I'm at 303-562-8659. I would be more than happy to share that with you. I would also be happy to send you the order guide for 2023 if you wanted a special order in an RV. Uh, but this coach is first and foremost, it's sold. Second of all, though, uh, because of the regulations that we have on Facebook Live and on uh, YouTube, we don't do uh, any discussion of MSRP online. So a lot of people will ask us to, they'll send in the comments down below, hey, can you send me the MSRP? And the problem, you know, for anyone who's watching, just note, reach out to us, shoot us a quick text, send us an email. I'm at katie.oneal at transwest.com. I'm so easy to get a hold of. And I can send you over the build sheets. I can send you over the whole list of equipment, um, but I can't do it for you online. So thank you so much for tuning in though. It means the world to me that I've got people out there watching. I love this product. Um, I love, take my next one coming in. I'd love to make it yours. Let me know if you want all the information on it. Um, so, okay, so thank you. If you've got any more questions, feel free to chime in. Um, okay, so, oh, back to battery power. So we 
two, 500 amp hours total in this coach, which is nice. Um, we also want to talk about the fact that this is a all electric coach. So in the fact that it's all electric, it doesn't require propane. And where that's nice is you've got a tube of uh, antifreeze going underneath, a, a glycol mix that goes underneath and it gets hot through your tankless hot water filter or your tankless hot water heater. Your tankless hot water heater is not only providing you endless hot water if you're plugged into a water source and, and sewer, but it's also heating up that glycol so that you have a fan that pushes air over the top of it and heats the coach if you don't have the in-floor heating. Of course, this RV has that optional in-floor heating as well, which is electric. It's not uh, like a hydronic system like you would expect. The hydronic tube is that tube I described, um, which also helps to keep your bays warm, right? Um, as you saw, we had bay control uh, in our RV when we have these uh, hydronic heating systems. It's powered by the AquaHot 450D, so it's a big unit getting you a lot of, a lot of uh, heat, and that's important. Um, the Oasis system on the Superstar runs completely different than the 450D system on the AquaHot. Uh, the one thing I can speak to for both of them is you need to know how to use them, but when you do, you can really have a super nice piping hot shower, and you can keep your coach nice and warm without having to use your heat pumps uh, your overhead heat pumps, which of course only work to about 32 to 38 degrees. Um, the other thing that's important to understand is that there are uh, two heat, heat strips on your black water and gray water tank, keeping those warm so that you will not um, have to worry about freezing until you get into those really low uh, temperatures. If it's going to be eight degrees outside, I don't know whether or not I would keep you know full water on board, to be honest with you. That's kind of our threshold here at the dealership. Uh, but we do have a lot of clients that will tell us that they take these coaches snowmobiling and they get them down into those really you know low arctic temperatures and they do great so this is a very popular coach for people who want to pull you know their heavy snowmobiles maybe two or three behind them and, and get out into the wilderness and really have a great time um okay so 450d aqua hot unit we talked about the eight kilowatt and odin generator we talked about the def tank oh we did not talk about the fact that this coach does have central vac um, so the central vac, I should show you where that is. It's really nice. We actually have uh, the, the central vac is right here underneath. And then I wanted to lift this up and show you where your water tanks are too. There we go. Sorry. Just had to get a handle on it. So those are your two 100 or your two 75 gallon water tanks. And again, that's gonna give you 150 gallons of fresh water. It's also very easy to winterize. There's a pole that you would use to hold that up there. Um, but one of the benefits of having your water tanks, of course, in the coach, um, you know, sure you lose a little storage, but as you've seen, there's so much storage in this coach to begin with. One of the benefits though is that, of course, once again, you're less pro you've got a lower propensity to freeze. Okay, so now that we're through most of that stuff, let's get here into the front. So, First and foremost, in the cab itself, these are carpet lined. Great place to keep sunglasses. Um, love that feature. Um, also, you're gonna have another one here as well. And then number one favorite feature in the coach, a place to do my lip gloss. Now, of course, there's no rear mirror of, because, well, we couldn't look out the back of the coach, but it's so nice to have a mirror here. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Do you need a special license to drive it? In the state of Colorado, I don't need a special license to drive my RV. Um, we do have a gentleman by the name of Tim, and he is an off-site uh, or not employed person affiliated with TransWest that does offer driving lessons. Um, I just drove my Superstar back from Estes Park last weekend and thought to myself, my God, I hope that people who are driving these big rigs, you know, down these windy hills, uh, do get their driver's license or do get some kind of training, but no, in the state of Colorado, at least it's not required. I know, for instance, that Pennsylvania has had requirements that I've run into where we've had to do that driving lesson so that they could go back and feel like they could pass the test that they have to take for their state. So it's going to be state dependent. Uh, but here in the state of Colorado, your standard driver's license, as long as it's a recreational vehicle, is more than enough. So kind of a cool cool fact thanks for asking that question about the license requirement um, so now as you'll note here we do have heated seats so they've got our hot off and cold so low and high um, but one thing I really wanted to show is that um, all the seats of course turn around but one of the things that is highly re uh, remarked on 
on the internet is the ability to tilt your seat back. Well, here you go. So if you're looking for a seat that has a full tilt, this is where you get it. You get it in the Explorer. It gets out past this bolster, which tends to limit us from being able to have that big pitch. So if you are looking for something that has, oh, there we go. This isn't pulling hard enough. If you're looking for something that has more pitch where you can recline a little bit more, this is it. Uh, these are adjustable. I've already got them set to be the right height for me. There's a little lever here. If you want to show that, Jody, you just twist them and you can set them to a particular ride height. Uh, of course, they're air leveling seats, so you can pop them up and you can get that, you know, really nice bouncy feeling going down the road. Uh, but this is, this is a really, really nice, super posh, very comfortable cab. As you can see, maybe a little more streamlined than what you find in that M, uh, M2 chassis, which we're so familiar with. Here's your Detroit. Uh, you've got your lane tracking, as you can see. You've got your, uh, your um, safety assurance package, which gives you adaptive cruise control. You've got your removable uh, Garmin system uh, that you can also set to have your um, parameters of your coach here. Um, you've got your trailer air supply as well as your parking brake here. Um, and then uh, you can lower your height if you need to be able to get something like um, set in. And one thing I'll mention that's important is that not only do you have all of the service aspects of TransWest here, but for instance, my boyfriend needed to get a brake controller. This one has an integrated brake controller standard, but he needed a brake controller. Here's that adjustment for that brake controller. Um, so we had one here, bought it here, installed it, no problem. Then he needed to get a hitch adapter. Well, we had a hitch adapter here. Now, of course, this has got a 20,000 pound hitch, but his trailer was too high up off the ground, so he needed one that would lower the ball down. So they had a huge selection of them here. Then he came back and dropped off his trailer and he needed something to lock up the trailer. So he, they had that here. So this is a great place to do business because not only do we service all the vehicles here, but we have two fantastic uh, parts departments, one that's going to be house biased and the other one that's going to be uh, service biased or uh, chassis biased, if you will. So really cool feature there. Um, okay, your climate control is completely different here. I think it's just so nice. I love this streamlined look. And this is, if you can see here, there's a lot of room for your knees. So for you big guys that are out there that are looking for a lot of room in the cockpit, this has got that room. Your cup holders are really nicely located. I do have my sunglasses up here as well as my cell phone. You've got this really nice digital dash. As you can see, it's really easy to toggle through all of the different settings. You've got your diagnostics. Um, it's just super, super cool. And then you got all of your phone controls right here. So really nice Freightliner integrated dash control. And then I wanted to show you this to you because you have a three stage brake controller. So your Jake brake is uh, high, medium and low. And then all of your Allison transmission at 4,000 is actually controlled here on your stock. So you don't have that push button interface through Allison. You also have your wiper control here. And as you can see, you've got your intermittent sensors and then you've got your high and low as well as all your headlights and your windshield washers here, power door locks, power windows, power heated mirrors. Uh, so there's your heat button right there. Just a really, really amazing cockpit. And honestly, um, this cockpit is maybe one of the differences that would make you decide to buy uh, a 40 ERB over a uh, Cascadia chassis, uh, I'm sorry, not Cascadia chassis, but a, uh, a, a Supreme Air. So that Supreme Air has the same 505 horsepower and 1,850 foot-pounds of torque, but this Cascadia chassis really is a difference maker in this coach. And um, I would say if someone's asking me which one's better built, they are both exceedingly well built. They just have a very different idea of how to finish a coach. And if that's important to you, that's really, I think, um, that's one of the biggest differences that you'll see. Now, if I turn this on, can kind of hear that rumble. I want to see if I can just get you. There we go. So here's that Garmin dash. So for those of you uh, that are familiar with Garmin, this is very easy. Oh, it, once it's thinking I'm doing voice control. Yeah, find Starbucks. Find Starbucks. I don't really want to go to Starbucks, but it would find Starbucks for me. Um, but yeah, so this is just a really, really nice, easy to use dash. And as you can see, all of your gauges are very simple, right in the middle of the dash. Um, one of the things I've found just in driving my, um, my Super C is that personally, I feel more comfortable when it's easy to um, look down and, and get the information I'm needing in my dash because 
when you're driving a big rig like this, uh, one of the last things you want to do is take your eyes off the road. So this very um, driver oriented cockpit is a huge benefit. Um, now, Jody, if you don't mind, I would like to go ahead and head out to the outside. I'm going to meet you here at this door. Um, so, Jim, I hope you notice that we both have our booties on. I am going to exit the vehicle and take off, take off my booties. Oh, look at Jody. Okay, so Jody says, "Hey, Katie, don't forget to do the slides real quick." Okay, well then I'll go out the main door, Jody. You are so good to me. Um, for those of you who haven't been watching our videos for the last, I don't know. 12, 18, 24 months. Um, we have a fantastic video crew. Um, Avin, Cherish, and Jody run everything for us. And they do, without them, we would be lost. They do everything for us. And it's just so nice to have um, the support that we do. But Jody is there for me tirelessly, reminding me to uh, open and close my slides to show the compartment doors. He'll tell me if I haven't shown the sink yet or if I've shown it twice. Um, so I really appreciate all of those things. Now, if you want to take a look past me, Jody, I'll stand back. But you can see how nice and tight this bedroom gets. But once again, one of the main benefits that you have in this Super C is the walking room from the front to the back bathroom. And the fact that this door, this is this is the amount of room you're going to have to get into this access point the entire time. Now, the other thing that's really unique to Renegade is going to be the amount of walking room with the slides fully pulled in. So I really love this. Um, for those of you who watch a lot of my videos, I hope that you've all known I was so excited this morning when I woke up and I knew I was going to get to do this video because there are so few ERB videos out there. And if you haven't already seen Brian Morris's vehicle or uh, review of the 40 ERB, uh, he did one a few months back. If you haven't seen it yet, you're probably one of like six people left in the world because I think everyone has tuned in and watched that video. He does a fantastic job. Uh, but it's really nice uh, to have a second video out here on this unit because there's just not a lot of people that have stopped and taken the time to show these. Um, and a lot of times what I'll hear is, oh, I didn't want to show you that video or do a video on that coach because it was sold. Well, guess what? That's how I sold this coach. Somebody watched the video. They got my number off the back of the clipboard. They gave me a call. I was in Tennessee on a college tour with my son going through the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And here comes Jim on the phone telling me he's going to go to Renegade and meet Tim and, and take a look at moving over from a Newmar superstar into a Renegade 40 ERB because he wanted to have more horsepower, more torque, but a single axle. And that's what this coach has to offer. And here we sit today. So for those of you who are tuning in who want this vehicle, give me a call. Let me make this an easy process for you. Um, you know, Jim doesn't live here. He lives in Texas. You know, but it's easy to do business with us. We're a great place to pick up. Of course, you get to start your camping trip from one of the most beautiful states in the United States. Um, so that's fantastic. Okay, Jody, take a look at all that room. Did you see that? I mean, for anybody who's 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 been out in the RV market, that is so much room. And then you could put your puppy would love to have like a little place to snuggle while you're going down the road underneath. At least my Frenchies would like that. Um, and then on our way out, um, I would like to just make sure that we show the way they've done this really cool backlit staircase where it says Explorer back here in the stairs. Oh my gosh. Jim, I want you to know my feet are so gross and sweaty now. Oh my gosh. Look at there, Jody. Uh, look at my cute toes. Get my toes out of those booties. Uh, speaking of booties, great place to keep some shoes underneath both of these steps. One of the things I really miss about my, uh, here, I'll take them. One of the things I really miss about my uh, Renegade is this great place to keep your slippers and your house shoes when you come in the coach. So if you are a shoes off, no shoes please coach, great location. I think I might get Jim a little sign that says, put your shoes underneath, don't you dare enter the threshold. <laughs> so, uh, so another nice feature that you have here. Oh yeah, time to switch over, man. It is so nice out here today. So uh, we have the keypad. This is available on the Renegade LE and up. So you don't have to bring your keys with you. Very handy. Of course, Avin has been so kind as to unlock all of our bay doors. But before we get to those bay doors, 
Let's talk about some things that I really think that Newmar uh, could take from Renegade. Number one, I love these chrome sill plates on this coach. This is such a nice place to catch mud and dirt and they have this trough underneath so that it, when you rinse it off, the, all the dirt will come down and, and roll out, which is fantastic. I also love, um, and this is just a Freightliner thing, Freightliner makes it so easy to get in and out of this coach because they give you all of these handles. So this is so easy to get in and out of. For anybody who might have a bum knee or a bad ankle, this is a great way for you to have access to both the front, you've got two doors here, and then you've got your mid entry as well. Um, so love that. This mirror here is something that we'll find on like our superstars, for instance, showing us where our curb is. I love that they've added it to this Renegade. Very, very nice feature. Um, we're looking at the Stratus paint exterior. Uh, for the record, this Stratus exterior, oh wait, so take a look over there, Jody. See that superstar? That is a custom painted superstar. It's coming over after its delivery to the campground where we'll put the slides out. But I had to custom order that coach to get it to be that beautiful color combination. This Stratus is just one of five exterior color combinations offered by Renegade. And this is a fantastic paint combination. I just love this. They really have something for everybody. Um, so here's your Voyager camera for your uh, right, right hand camera. And of course you've got one there on the left. Um, these releases are hidden underneath. So they latch in here. I have both of them already released because I wanted to show you how easy it is to access this cab. So take a look at that. Now one of the things I'm always talking about in my video is the marriage between Cummins and Freightliner. Well the DD-13 is just big and black. It's right down there. That is a mad dog engine. Again, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. Um, on most of my Renegades, your jump points are on the driver's side. Here they're going to be on the passenger side. And as you can see, windshield washer fluid is really easily accessible right here as well. But look at how tough this thing is. Man, so beautiful to behold. Um, and like I said, super easy to access, really easy to get into. Uh, your air filter is right here. So as you can see, the big DD-13, just all brute force underneath here. That's why they need to have this big uh, enhanced cab because it's all engine. So just love that feature. But then once again, in order to access this cab, you know, how easy is that? I love our super aggressive headlights here. Uh, this whole coach is just so incredibly sexy. Uh, chrome convex mirrors, of course, they are breakaway. Um, love that. Again, we have 120 gallon fuel capacity and then all of your base storage. So I love all of this base storage. Now there is a, a Rhino liner. You could get an optional Rhino liner if you wanted to in this. You don't have that in this coach. But look at all of this storage underneath here. So fantastic. And then down on the next bay, we have our Aquahot 450D. And as mentioned, our 43 inch HD TV. All of these are smart TVs. Um, this, all these coaches, Renegade puts Wi-Fi in everything. Um, if they don't, like you have to, you have to like fist fight, you have to arm wrestle them for it, fist fight them. Tim, I'm gonna fist fight you. No, Tim O'Connell though, if you tell him you don't want Wi-Fi or something in his RV, he's like, oh my God. So he puts Wi-Fi in everything. Um, if you tell me that you've watched this video, I've got two Renegades, uh, both just arrived on Saturday. Both of my clients are once again, one's from Oklahoma, the other one's from Washington. Um, they are both people that are going to get a free uh, gallon of Aqua Hot juice because they'll tell me they watch their videos. Um, it's a nice thing to have. I've got the step locked here. Again, big feature on this coach is not having a twin screw axle. Here underneath, you've got your slide locks. And then you've got your air. So this airline is really nice. The access point for your airline is very easy. And then, um, Brian's always talking about like vacuuming out your tow car. I mean, I'm always talking about vacuuming off your children. Like here's the hose for your kids. And again, that's a really nice inner back system. This is where your filters changed by the filters online. So this is a standard feature in this coach. You're going to have, uh, they'll always give you this dual hitch 
Uh, so it's got two balls. If you would like to get a downsizer, we do carry those. This is a three inch receiver, 20,000 pound hitch. I love the LED lights in the back of this. I love this tough Explorer look. Um, I've also changed out the way the rear view camera is presented. So instead of being a big camera, it's nice, it's small, it's integrated. This of course is a vent for your washer and dryer. Also have a surge protector, power cord reel. Um, so this power cord reel is just nice because if you, you know, have ever had to pull one in, they take up a lot more space, but also uh, it's just nice to not get your hands as dirty. And then here's that 8,000 watt quiet diesel generator. And one of the things that's nice about it is that you have the ability to turn this off and on with the app on your phone. So if you're sitting in the front seat driving down the road, the kids are like, mom, it's too hot. You know, you can go ahead or I want a microwave or burrito or whatever it is. You can actually just take your phone out and turn that generator on and off there. You can use that control that I did there at the slide panel um, where, we, where we brought the slides in. You can bring the slides in and out from your phone as well, or you can turn the generator on and off here from the exterior. So all of these things are just so fantastic. Um, one of the things I think that differentiates this manufacturer as well is that we have dual latches on our doors, so they're nice and tight. And then we also use a water uh, jet to actually engrave these labels onto your black tank and gray tank dump. Um, everything is super simple. There's your whole house water filter, but this is never gonna wear off. This is actually just carved into the metal. Super cool. Um, God, after watching both plants, I mean, they're both so, um, Newmar and Renegade are both so incredibly impressive. Uh, they, they make RVs that are so much better than anything else uh, competing with them in that marketplace. Uh, but they're so different, but they're both fantastic. You just gotta figure out which flavor is the right flavor for you, or just get one of each. That's what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know what I'll do next. But I'm gonna try something else that I promise you that much. Uh, Blackwater tank, here's your access for your gravity hose right here. Again, there is an optional SantaCon you can get for this. And then gray waters in the next bay. Again, these are heat, or they do have uh, heat tape on them, two heat tape strips. Great place to keep your um, Outlander fire pit. And then this is of course gonna be your Victron energy system. So this is gonna be where you got all that control for your 300, uh, 300 uh, watt inverter right here. And like I said, great place to keep your, your fire pit. And then that Jaboni controller right there is just to keep your solar panels all going, making sure you're not overcharging your batteries. It's kind of monitoring and governing all the power coming into the coach. Uh, here again, we have our deep cycle batteries. These are AGMs. Okay, so there's an optional dual lithium on, ion battery as well. These are the deep cycle AGM batteries. And then above, up here above this, this is your chassis batteries. And again, you've got a capacity of up to four batteries in this compartment for 500 amp hours of, um, of juice. And honestly, I think Jim often, Jim's gonna put his own, own darn batteries in. I'd almost said own damn batteries, but we're not using the D word in national television. Um, okay, so just in case you didn't see it, on the other side, control panel once again, heated seats, lots and lots of room here, very easy access points. Uh, it's just a super, super cool chassis. Uh, this is a Renegade Explorer. This is the 40 ERB. They also make a 38. Um, if I can help, if you'd like one, I would love to be part of your process. Um, I like to think that I do a lot of research. I provide a good level of service to all of my clients. Uh, you can find me very easily at RVs Inside Out on YouTube. You can always reach out to me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. You can email me. Uh, whatever I can do to get you on the road and camping, please let me know how I can help. And thank you so much for tuning into Trans West today and looking at another one of our fantastic RVs here in Colorado.